Fast Thoughts here, my name is Tim Davies and I've got the controls up on the bottom left here so you can see what we're doing with throttle and stick and everything else, okay, the whole jet moves around. And that's because we're going to look at trimming into the E-bar today. You can see that I've got a runway out here somewhere, I want to make that about 088 and I want to start configuring about 12 miles so I get the speed brake out here, there's speed brake deploys there and at, uh, I'll bring that about 250 knots and we'll start configuring the aircraft, I want about 2100 feet. People fly this aircraft how they would fly like an F-16 or an F-5 and that's incorrect, okay? It's uh, got a very central point on it. The aircraft's balanced through a central point so where the engines are. So what that means is we can control our pitch on the final approach using power, using our left hand down here somewhere and not using the pitch like here. So I'll try and demonstrate that to you today if possibly can. So blow 250 then air brake comes in or speed brake comes in and is indicating in gear can travel. There's gear and we're going to take full flap at this time also, let them travel. And we're going to notice a ballooning, a ballooning. That velocity vector, without me touching anything, look, is going to rise as the flaps travel. Three is indicating, full flap indicating. So I'm going to push that forward. You can see that on the controls. I'm pushing that forwards. You can see it on the controls there as well. Moving that forwards, holding it on the line so I don't balloon. And as the jet comes down here, I'm going to have to trim that up now and bring power in. Trimming the velocity vector back into the E-bar. So I'm trimming up now, trim, 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 holding it there, stop trimming. And now I'm not touching pitch on the stick. I'm using power now to control my pitch of my aircraft. So I can trim it back down a little bit. There we go. I wanted to send about seven miles. I'll do that in a second. You can see the runway is just underneath my velocity vector. So if I'm a little bit low here, as you can see, I can just blip the trim back up. I go, and you can see this on this bit here. That's the trim. So I'm just going to go blip, 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 blip. And it's trimming it up there. There we go. And if I'm above, I can just trim it back down like that. Okay, so it's tied now, pretty much tied. If I use power, if I put power on, the throttle's coming forwards, you can see our climb. If I bring throttles back, you can see that, that velocity vector and the E-bar together will drop. So now I can control my pitch using my left hand. Have a look at the red thing over here, my controls. You can see now that my pitch is really controlled by my throttle. So putting power on brings it back up, bringing it back. I want to hold it about three degrees where the runway is. So I'm only using the stick now for left and right movements. I'm not going forward and back. If I was to go forward and back then, let's look what happens to the uh, velocity vector. If I go forward and back, put the stick forwards, like that, goes down, back. I'm doing this. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to increase my alpha. If I increase my alpha too much, I'll stall the aircraft by about 12. There we go. Let it go again. The jet should come back together. Bring a bit of power off. So everything is controlled with the left hand when it looks at pitch. Okay, again, I'm just going to blip that velocity vector down. There we go, back into the E-bar. So you're always just blipping it a little bit with the, uh, and really that's all I'm doing, I'm not using pitch at all. Now this also corresponds to what you see here on your alpha gauge. As long as that's at 8.1 in the alpha in the, in the center, you're pretty much okay. You're going to get this amber thing. If for some reason you were to trim out of that for some reason, I don't know what you're doing, you're up here somewhere. It's going to say put power on in most aircraft, or it's going to say trim yourself back into the E-bar. That's what that's saying. If I get above about 12 here, watch what happens. Okay. There, I've got these. It's flashing at me. It's saying this jet's stalling, dude. So put the nose down. Put your velocity vector back in. And I'm just going to trim that back down there. Conversely, if I trim out the bottom or I'm too low there, I'm going to get this red thing saying take some power off or just trim that back into the E-bar for me, please. And we're going to do that. Now, just controlling, as I said, left and right is purely left and right on there, but everything else is on the stick. So... My runway threshold is about five degrees nose down now. So what I'm going to do, I want it to be about three, is I'm just going to allow this to come down. So I'm steep, so I'm just going to steepen my approach, holding it about there, and waiting for that to march up my windscreen there until it's about three degrees. That's nice, about three degrees there, and I would land off that. I'm not going to, we're going to power on, we're going to go around. Travel, travel. The radar can come to 450 for this, we'll do a circuit. So looking for 800 feet then, 350 knots, gears up, flaps up before uh, three, uh, 250, panel is clear. Looking downwind then, I want to be 350 for the brake guys at 800 feet. That's going to be 800 feet for the brake, there we go, 350. 800 for the brake, good look out, okay, and 1% of my speed in G. So I'm going to roll, I'm going to pull, I'm idle, not using air brake. So 3.5 G, coming down 3.3. 3.2, 3G, holding 800 feet. Okay, 290, what about 266 on rollout? 268, something like that. Below 250, I'm going to start configure. There's 250, gear travels. About 266, something like that. Okay, now as we said, that's gear travelling, flap travelling. 
Hold the velocity vector on there. Remember, it's going to balloon. Check your dead wings, downwind spacing. It's pretty good. About 265. Hold it there for 800 feet. As it comes to 170, the velocity vector will drop. And we want to go 800 to 600 feet. Velocity vector dropping now. Start trimming back and building a bit of power in. Holding it there. That's nice. Let it come back up again. Looking for 600 feet, guys. 600 feet. Feels good. Three greens indicating. Full flap indicating. 4,000 is nice for us today. Good spacing on the runway. Back up. Right up bug. Set for 450 halfway around. Half round is going to be north for us. Trimming it into the center of the e-bar. That's 8.1 there. Now, the weird thing about the Hornet, it's got a massive wing. Look at the size of that wing. Okay. It's bigger than my mother-in-law, right? So, I'm going to have to put some power on uh, as I turn in. I'm going to shed a whole load of lift. So, as I turn in, okay, looking down the disused about there. Give it a couple of bananas. One banana, two banana. Rolling in and putting power on. And I want that velocity vector just below the horizon to be touching the horizon about there, Okay. Three greens, full flap, FJP, final get down. FJP, clear land, land FJP. Half around then, about north. I want about 450. Looking pretty good, might roll off a little bit here. Now, I'm not flying it. If I start moving my right hand around, it does this. Don't move the right hand, only in roll only, guys. Okay, start rolling it out there. And as I roll out, I need to take a load of power off, guys, because the wing wants to float itself again. That's looking pretty nice. Good stuff, so keep it coming. Now put the velocity vector where you want to land, and it should be about 3 degrees. And again, if you need to just refine that a little bit, just blip of trim to get that velocity vector back up to the E-bar. That's nice. Hold it there, just along with the white, uh, the white marks on the runway. Now remember, we're not going to flare. We can flare at shore establishments, apparently, but I'm not going to. He's going to let it hit the deck. So now put the velocity vector where you want to land on that thing there. Now we just check one last thing. Three greens, full flap. We have got clearance. So hold it there. Don't touch anything else. Let the jet land itself. As the runway, as the wheels hit the runway, you can shut the throttles. There we go. Let it roll out. And now just light braking, guys. Who needs scent lines anyway? Crocodile on those. Just light brake, light brake, light brake. All the way down. All the way down. Speed is under control. Speed is nice under control. You don't need air brake on landing. So if you land at the correct weights. And how do we check those correct weights? Well, right now I've got about 3.8 on the fuel panel there. If I come across to my checklist page here, I want to land below 33,000 pounds. You can see I can need another 2.3 on that. So I could probably go maybe to 6,000 pounds, something like that, land below 6,000 without any stores on, and I would be fine. Land below 33,000 pounds. People land too hot or too fast because they've got too much weight on, they go off the end of the runway, okay? Guys, that is it. Thanks so much. If you do want to join Shadowlands then, then uh, come across by all means. Uh, it's a flight school I run purely virtually online. We will go into the metaverse when it starts. Ugh, metaverse. I know what you're thinking. And um, we teach all this stuff and more. Okay, this is quite an elementary lesson, guys. But, of course, being able to land these aircraft properly is what it's all about. So come across uh, fastshipperformance.com and uh, I'll sort you out.